Happy Monday! Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar. Got a great show stacked up for you. I've got stuff that's going to make you laugh, think, and I've even got one story that's probably going to terrify you. Uh, all of that coming up. Uh, on the show today, drunk driving can now be blamed on high heels. We'll have that story for you coming up. Uh, if you yawn and your dog yawns at the same time, what does that mean? Well, we'll find out. Smoking is dumb, yes. Lighting your cigarette in an unconventional way, that can be a moment of duh. A Mississippi man, he is dead. But once you hear the story of how this happened, you'll have to agree with me that it is a totally outrageous story. Uh, apparently, driving is more than just dangerous. It's unhealthy. We'll give you the details on that. So what is a phonatar? A phonatar? Well, you'll find out in today's Weird Holidays coming up in just a couple minutes. I'm, I'm Darren Marlar. I am a, a bit nervous uh, about the show today. I mean, you do not know what fear is uh, unless you sit in a dark radio studio at the beginning of your show wondering if your wife was just being kind last night when she laughed at all those ad-libs you practiced on her. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Well, you've heard the joke that there's a Starbucks on every corner, right? Well, not true. It's just, that's just silly, of course. But there is one within 20 miles of 80% of Americans. And the furthest you should ever have to drive to get to your coffee fix from a Starbucks-owned store is 140 miles. And the gas for that trip, that roughly equals the same amount as a Starbucks venti mocha. Just got home and what the heck? Past 20 Starbucks on the way. I hear next week they're gonna build 40 more. Lack of space is setting in. Pretty soon they're building. Taking a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today's Monday, July 31st. You now have 146 shopping days until Christmas. And today is Make Today Better Than Yesterday Day, which uh, I guess that makes tomorrow um, Make Today Better Than the Day Before Yesterday Day, right? Just continues on. Uh, today is Shadow Day. In 1930, Orson Welles starred as The Shadow in the show's radio debut. And at first, The Shadow was just the narrator for the changing stories, but later he became a character in his own adventures. He knew what evil lurked in the hearts of men and scared the tar out of the bad guys. And then later, uh, later on, Alec Baldwin became the shadow on the big screen, and now nobody is afraid of him. Also, uh, on today as weird holidays, the Phonatar Day. Phonatar. In 1969, Moscow police they reported that thieves had stolen telephone parts from thousands of phone booths to convert their acoustic guitars to electric proving it's not rock and roll the corrupted society, it's telephones. Uh, today is Mutt's Day, honoring all dogs that are not just one breed. And you know, why don't we have something like this for humans? Let me think about this. I, I am German-Irish, my wife is German-Czech, and, and what about Tiger Woods? I don't even know what the heck that guy is. And, and President Obama, uh, he even admitted to being a mutt. So how about we have a human mutt day, huh? I mean, because really, if you look at it, just about everybody has some mutt in them. I mean, if you look far enough back in your family's history, why is racism such a problem? You said something stupid! Nothing's better. Don't you ever, ever call me Darren Marlar. This is amazing. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Apparently, driving is more than just dangerous, it's unhealthy. Got that story for you coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and if you'd like to hear this show anytime, you can find it at DarrenMarlar.com. Well, you know, it's no wonder that we can't resist dessert. I mean, we hate to diet, right? Well, our brains are wired that way. Specifically, it is a hunger-sensitive ce uh, cell in the brain known as AGRP neurons, and those are responsible for creating those unpleasant feelings of hunger that so often lead us to fall off the diet wagon. Um, so it, it, it's really no surprise if you think about it. It's those negative emotions associated with hunger that make it so hard to maintain the diet, lose the weight. 
Well, while these neurons, they don't directly drive us to eat, we can't really blame them specifically for forcing us to eat, they do make us desire food so that those unpleasant hunger pangs will go away. And it's not just hunger, either. Uh, the research team also found separate sets of neurons in the brain that generate unpleasant feelings of thirst. So I guess we can blame beer consumption on this, too. Here comes the best part. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. A little bit more on the crazy side of, uh, of the envelope. Got the birthday wrap-up coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and if you like a few more laughs after the show, you might want to check out my daily dose of weird news. You can find it on my website at darrenmarlar.com. Microbiologists from Britain's Aston University they found that the typical car has 283 different types of bacteria present in every square inch. The dirtiest part of the vehicle it was the gear stick, home to 356 germs per square inch. Drivers with children and pets uh, they were found to host a greater number of uh, range of bacteria in their cars, which I guess shouldn't be a surprise. The study uh, found British motorists spend more than three years of their life behind the wheel, and over a quarter eat there every week. Uh, you know what? I used to be that way. I used to eat in my car every single day. Uh, one in four car owners said their car is littered with food wrappers and empty drink bottles. Uh, all right, I wasn't quite that bad. Uh, one in six admitted to regularly leaving uneaten food in their vehicle. Oh. Ugh, what does that taste like? In between meals snacks. How many of you love them? Raise your hands. <laughs> I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a lot of hands out there. Yep, uh, you know, in, in between meal snacks, they, they, they've taken a lot of heat in the war against obesity recently. But there are 10 healthy treats that will soothe your grumbling belly while boosting your energy level. Uh, if you want to see the list for yourself, complete with a few links on where to find all these energy-boosting snacks. I did some research last night's for you. Uh, you can find that link in my blog at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Time now for today's birthday wrap-up. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy, 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 happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy, 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 happy birthday! Happy birthday! To you! Celebrating birthdays today from Las Vegas. Uh, Inspector Jack Ellis on The Division. Clark Kent slash Superman on The Adventures of Lois and Clark. Dean Kane is 51 today. And still looking great, by the way. Uh, from the Blade movies, U.S. Marshals, Murder at 1600, Demolition Man, fun movie, uh, Passenger 57, Major League, the first film, Wesley Snipes is 55 today, and Detective Steve Sloan on Diagnosis Murder, Barry Van Dyke is 66. A Mississippi man is dead, but once you hear the story of how that happened, you're going to have to agree with me that it is a totally outrageous story. I'll have that story for you coming up in a few minutes. Hey, you want to be a part of the show? Well, if you want to visit the radio show page at DarrenMarlar.com, you can send me an email for the email bag. DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. And then click on Radio Show. So you want to jumpstart your imagination? I think we'd all probably like to be able to do that anytime. Well, here's an idea. Wear something green. Scientists found that the color of leaves, grass, and, well, the light go for the traffic lights, that sparks creativity. They're even calling this the green effect. Researchers they tested the power of colors by showing a group of test subjects a white rectangle and then another group a green rectangle before giving them a creative task. And the green subjects they ended up with more imaginative and innovative results. Green also proved superior when pitted against red, blue, and gray. Uh, green may serve as a cue that evokes the motivation to strive for improvement and task mastery, which in turn may facilitate growth," concludes study head Dr. Stephanie Lichtenfield, assistant professor of psychology at Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich, Germany. Uh, still, she cautions against going wild and painting your house green and buying a green wardrobe because, well, the influence of the color is just subtle. Uh, she also noted that the most powerful green effect it was produced by the shade of the color seen on pine trees. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. Smoking is dumb. 
lighting your cigarette in an unconventional way, that could be a moment of duh. That story is uh, coming up right around the corner. I'm Darren Marlar, and a Mississippi man is dead, but once you hear the story of how this happened, you'll have to agree with me, this is totally outrageous. What time is it, boys and girls? Totally outrageous! Totally outrageous. Down in South Haven, Mississippi, lives 41-year-old Ismael Lopez. Now, he's never been in trouble with the law. Uh, he's an American citizen. He's not wanted for anything. Nevertheless, he's now dead because he was shot by a police officer attempting to serve an arrest warrant at the wrong house. According to the Washington Post, Lobez was in bed when he heard a sound outside his home. He got up to see what was going on. Moments later, he was dead. Prosecutor John Champion claims that Lopez was pointing a gun at the two police officers outside his house through a partially open door and ignored orders to put the gun down. Champion says it appears one officer shot at a pit bull that ran out of Lopez's home and then the other shot at Lopez himself. Uh, there were three bullet holes in Lopez's front door. Now It's unclear if Lopez fired any shots himself or if he even knew that the people at his door were police officers. Attorney Murray Wells says neither Lopez's wife nor a neighbor heard the officers tell Lopez to drop the gun. In fact, he says Lopez wasn't even holding a gun during the shooting. Wells says there was a gun on the couch at the time, though. Police were attempting to serve an arrest warrant for Samuel Pierman, who lives next door to Lopez. Wells says that the two homes are 36 feet apart. They both have their addresses clearly visible. An investigation into this shooting is underway. And now another useless fact. An interesting trend among campgrounds across the country, lots of them are now offering free high-speed wireless internet. Because, let's face it, who wants to go out camping and get away from it all if you can't brag about it and upload photos to Instagram? Time for today's moment of duh, and you know they say cigarette smoking is hazardous to your health. Well, Omaha's, uh, Omaha's that is, uh, Tim Green found out, found that out the hard way. Uh, however, cancer is the least of Tim's worries. He tried to light a cigarette using a propane torch. He ended up starting a fire in his detached garage, which left him hospitalized in critical condition with third-degree burns. Duh. You'll be coughing in your coffin if you smoke. You'll be coughing in your coffin if you smoke. You'll be coughing in your coffin, wheezing pretty often. You'll be coughing in your coffin if you smoke. And that's all the words to this song that I wrote. If you yawn and your dog yawns at the same time, what does that mean? Well, we'll find out shortly. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to keep up with everything I do, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's the Marlar Sheet, and it's free. You can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, if you are fat and in your 40s, you better look out. Uh, by the way, I'm talking to myself on this one as well. Uh, people who are obese in middle age, they're more likely to experience a more rapid mental decline, including memory loss, than their friends who are of normal weight. That's the word from French researchers at the Center for Research in, in, in uh, Epidemiology and Population Health at INSERM in Paris. Now, those who are obese and also have high blood pressure and other problems linked to heart disease and type 2 diabetes, well, they have the highest risk for mental decline. But even those who are quote-unquote fat and fit, well, they will experience a faster loss of mental abilities too. So I uh, am doomed. Dangerous and disturbed. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm listening. Drunk driving. It can now be blamed on high heels. That story coming up. First, though, it's today's question impossible. Here's your question. Approximately how many pounds of food will you eat in your lifetime? Again, how many pounds of food will you eat in your lifetime? I'll have the answer for you later on in the show. I'm Darren Marlar, and when you yawn, and that causes your dog to yawn, well, that means you've got a pretty smart pooch there. Uh, some dogs, they find human yawns contagious. 
and that suggests that there are rudimentary capacities there for empathy, something scientists thought that only humans and a few chimpanzees had. 72% of the 29 dogs that were tested by British researchers uh, they were so sensitive to human yawns that seeing one made them yawn in response. On the other hand, if your dog yawns and that makes you yawn, then you're just weird. Unless you're listening to my show, at which point yawning is probably expected. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. You should go make people laugh in heaven. Get your thoughts heard. Send Darren a message through Facebook, Twitter, or his website at DarrenMarlar.com. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Christy Brinkley. She says, it's hard to meet nice guys at the age of 63. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm finding that kind of hard to believe because, well, she's Christy Brinkley. Uh, I mean, men from the age of 20 to 120 want to date her. She's Christy Brinkley for crying out loud! Hey, I'm Darren Marlar, and uh, it's time for today's Brain on Drug story. And uh, each day, you know, I'm talking about dumb things that people do under the influence. But addiction, that's no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know does need help, there is a toll free number that you can call. It's 1 800 438 0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1 800 438 0380. And today's Brain on Drugs. Drunk driving can now be blamed on high heels. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Attorney Bill Thomas of Durham, North Carolina has created a new defense for women accused of DUI – the high heel excuse. Thomas argued that the sobriety test was unfair because it required his client to walk a long, straight line, pivot quickly, and then stand on one foot for 30 seconds. All of which is impossible because she was wearing stilettos with three and a half inch heels, which make women wiggle. He claimed that under the circumstances, she did remarkably well by balancing on one foot for 16 seconds. The judge agreed, invalidating the test, and he tossed out the case. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, this story is potentially terrifying. An artificial intelligence system being developed at Facebook, it has created its own language. It developed a system of code words to make communication more efficient. Well, that scared the researchers too, so they shut the system down when they realized that the AI it was no longer using English. The observations made at Facebook they're the latest in a long line of similar cases. In each instance, an AI being monitored by humans has diverged from its training in English to develop its own language. The resulting fra uh, phrases they appear to be nonsensical gibberish to us humans, but they contain semantic meaning when interpreted by AI agents. Scary stuff. Uh, if you want to read the entire article on that, I, I did post it to my blog yesterday so you could still find it. I was just I was floored when I saw the story. Uh, you can find my blog, though, and read the story at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Just click on my blog once you get there. Well, a dozen years ago, a guy from England, he had a brilliant plan for making money on the Internet. He would create a website made up of a million pixels and arrange them in a 1,000 by 1,000 grid, and then he sold 10 by 10 blocks for a dollar. You might remember that. It was a long time ago. But people today, even in 2017, people are still finding creative ways to make a quick buck online. Here's the latest. I can't believe this is actually a real thing, but it is. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The, the website How Many People Paid a Dollar to See How Many People Paid a Dollar.com. <laughs> that's, that's the real site. How Many People Paid a Dollar to See How Many People Paid a Dollar.com. Uh, the owner of this site, he makes money by selling you, for just a dollar, the right to see how many people have paid a dollar to see how many people have done the th same thing that you just did. I have to admit, I did uh, check out the website and, you know, just out of curiosity, it was really tempting to spend, just to spend that dollar. But I held back. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. But boy, was I tempted. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Come on. This is important. The most significant event on the internet today. Who, may I ask, are you? Darren Marlar. Today's question impossible answer for you. Well, first, the question again. Approximately how many pounds of food will you eat in your lifetime? The answer? Well, during your lifetime, you'll eat about 60,000 pounds of food. That's the weight of about six elephants. I'm Darren Marlar, and uh, hey, if you want to like me or, or poke me, tweet me, uh, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenMarlar.com. I'm going to leave you today with this thought from George Bernard Shaw. I love this quote. Reasonable people adapt themselves to the world. Unreasonable people attempt to adapt the world to themselves. All progress, therefore, depends on unreasonable people. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.